in 2010, it was the time that I got to be a born again Christian. And I was, I was taking my high level education in junior seminary, at junior seminary, Morogoro here in Tanzania. I one of the biggest musicians, he preached, he, he sang. By that time I used to sing, but uh, I was not really a believer. I was just a, uh, just normal person. So uh, he preached and I was so convinced that I need to see my talent and gift happening and serving God truly. So I made my choice to say, God, I give my life to you that you can use me. You can use the talent and whatever that you have given me. So I made a choice because I love music, but also I love to see my music blessing people through God. Essence of worship is it's a ministry. It's not a church, it's a ministry, but as God called me into the worship ministry, he put me this desire to focus mainly on the things that makes worship to be worship. So uh, in 2014, as I was graduating, God was speaking to me about the, issues of worship and mainly uh, as as I was in college I was a leader a present worship leader in the CUs we call Christian units so I used to be a, a, we call a praise coordinator we have we have this organization uh, interdenomination organization we call it toughest it's working to to groom people the young Christians in colleges so I used to lead a uh, at the group, that group in the part of singing. So as I was graduating my first degree, God was speaking to me hardly about the things of worship. And I saw myself grow, growing as a worship leader to the church that I used to go. Essence of worship, it was not a name, it was a theme that I used to move with. I used to do these things, these gatherings, that mainly I was teaching worship, the qualities, the values that makes worship. So one day uh, we just sat down and we found that the name fits us because that's what we want to do. So we decided to call ourselves the essence of worship with the meaning. Uh, we want to make sure that we are living uh, the things that makes worship to be worship the qualities and every any value about worship, the truth about God, that's the things that, that, that those are the things that my ministry have measured to. So we decided to do this and the vision mainly it is to do, of course, growing uh, in terms of skills, but spiritually to make sure that we, we, we reach a level that we can do the impact about praise and worship ministry to the church and everywhere mainly for me is youth. The impact that I've seen is, I'm happy to see that the vision come, comes true by people being impacted with the true values of worship and the values of worship are now, are truly observed in the church, of course here in Tanzania, but also I've got testimonies even in East Africa, in Kenya. That's the thing, the impact that I wanted to see is the church worshiping God in spirit and truth. And I'm happy to see that happening. As for me, uh, you know things may happen. When you serve God truly, we, we know that it won't be smooth. People will come and things will happen. Of course, not people. Satan will use people. Devil will use people. He will try to, he will try to bring things that I will keep you down, will we'll try to stop you to move. But as for me, Christ is the foundation of whatever that I'm doing. I have a verse that I love. Uh, he's the perfecter and the author of the faith. He started everything. I know he will finish that. He won't let me. That's what I trust and that's what I believe, that he's the foundation. So I normally put my focus on Jesus. Whatever that is coming out, coming into me, my focus is on Jesus. He's the foundation of everything, yeah.
whatever God has, has put in me, and I normally pray, let people see God in me. So even the music that I produce, God give me a strength and ability to produce. It's my prayer that people will recognize that there is God in your music. And that's the desire that I have in my heart, that everyone who will listen to my music will get to know that Jesus is within this ministry.